Hey, welcome back to the Gilmock Kayaks Workshop. I'm Nick Schotta. I'm working on a laminated kayak paddle. In this episode, I'll glue the blades on and start rough shaping the blade and shaft. So I'll start by sanding the blade flat on the front and then cut out the blade shape and then work on starting to round over the shaft. So we'll get right to it. Now we're ready to glue the blades on. So I have four blade halves here and I'll take them off in pairs. So this will be a pair for one blade, this will be the pair for another blade, and then we end for end one. And so now we have a fairly closely matching set right there and another fairly closely matching set right here. So we'll just give it a little dry fit and I'm gonna line up the tips Lightly clamp it, and here I'll line up the butt end. You can have it slightly proud there. And then it'll go like that. So now that we know it fits together, we will unclamp it, put some glue on it, reclamp it up, and do the next one.
I had my drum sander set up with 36 grit sandpaper and I've taken and leveled out this surface here. I've gotten the shaft even with the blades and the blades flat all the way across. So we still have the curvature here, it's just that it's flat all the way across here. Um, so 36 grit, I use that because it's very quick. Um, and since I had that in place also, I then worked on leveling the back just from the middle of the blade towards the tip. I've still got a quarter inch of thickness here in these blades. I'm eventually going to get these down to an eighth. Um, but I just want to start getting that shape down. So at the tip here, it's flat all the way across on the back face and the power face. And that's with 36 grit. I will replace the sanding paper on this with 80 grit to just give that a finer finish. And then final sanding with this will come much later after I've done a lot more shaping. Modern kayak paddle blades are asymmetrical. So you, you see here, I've got a bit of an angle on this blade. It's, the tip is offset at a bit of an angle. The area on both sides of the center line is the same, but the top side is pushed a little bit out and the bottom side is pushed a little bit in. The theory being that as you put the paddle in the water, you're coming in at a bit of an angle and this will create less torque on the paddle as you start to apply power. You know, in all honesty, um, this probably only really matters in really high performance paddlers, Olympic level paddlers, and you know, chances are they don't care either. I find the, the most common thing this does is just point out the newbies, the people that don't know how to kayak um, first time with the paddle, they'll often end up with the paddle upside down. Um, you know, that's kind of a silly thing, but uh, you know, it's used to make fun of people who don't know how to paddle. I think a symmetrical paddle would work just as well for our modern needs, but uh, the style these days is this asymmetrical paddle has been that way for quite a while. And frankly, I kind of like the look. I think it looks cool to be a little bit asymmetrical. So for an aesthetic reason, I go ahead and continue to do it. Um, but if you want a symmetrical paddle, go for it. Don't let the fun Nazis make fun of you for it. So I'm just taking this template, centering it on the blade, and then tracing the shape onto the paddle in preparation for cutting this out. But as a consequence of the asymmetry, we want the left paddle and the right paddle to be have the longer edge on the same upper edge. So this blade is actually going to be over on the far end like this. So this template should be flipped over like that. So I have an A and a B side, and I'm just making sure I flip the template over before I trace it on so I have a matched set of blades. Okay. 
These rough blades are a little bit narrower than my template, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offset it so this side comes out even over there. And I'll offset it equally the other way, just putting the center line so it's on either side of that accent strip. And so that'll work just fine. It's hard to see on the dark wood. So this is a half inch radius uh, round over bit on the router. So I conceivably could make a one inch diameter dowel with this round over bit. The shafts of these are one and an eighth by one and a quarter. So this doesn't quite round it over. It ends up with a little bit of a flat spot on each face. Works out well as far as the bearing, the bearing needs a flat spot to run against. If I tried to make a dowel on this with this bearing, um, it would end up cutting into it, overcutting on the subsequent cuts after the first one. I'm just starting to round these over. I'm bringing it as close to the blade as I can. The uh, full length uh, shafts, straight shafts, um, I can obviously just do the whole thing from blade to blade. Here, I've got the scarf. I don't want to come too close to this scarf. I want to keep it square at the corners here so I can do the blending together. So I'll come quite close to the scarf, but I'll leave the corners at the scarf itself. <laughs> So these shafts have a good initial shape. They've got some flat spots on them, top and bottom, left and right side. Um, but uh, it's a good starting point. I'll do some more work on refining the shape. In the long run, I want to make sort of an egg shape with the narrow part where the knuckles are. Um, so again, good starting point. And I'll blend these in by hand when I glue the scarfs up. And up in here, I'll blend that into the back. So it's a good start. On to the next step. So that about covers it for this episode. If you're enjoying this and you'd like to build your own paddle, I have plans available. There should be a link in the description. Building a kayak paddle is a fun project. It's a fairly quick project and is a good introduction to some of the skills you'll get, need if you want to build your own boat. There's working with basic tools, there's some fiberglassing involved, and 
it you know it's something that you can get done in a couple weekends and have yourself a really beautiful thing that works very well and it's a lot of fun otherwise if you're not into that and you just like watching the videos but like to support me hit like share all those things get the word out more viewers is more support and i appreciate all your support if you're really into it, I've got a Patreon page. Again, there should be a link in the description. So in the next episode, I'll be working more on sculpting the shape of the blade. There's quite a bit of shaping to be done, getting the blade much thinner. I want to get it down to an eighth inch thick around the edges and have it all blended together in a nice, pleasing shape. So until then, thanks for watching and happy paddling.